Texas East Coast, as they mentioned, is already seeing heavy winds and rain from Ophelia, and that's where Stefan Dingle is, live in Ocean City this morning. Stefan, you've been showing us how flooding already an issue there this morning. Yes, Cena, good morning to you. It really is. And uh, just to give you a scope of just the flooding in this area, look, Ocean City is not new to flooding or storms or tropical storms or hurricanes. Uh, and, and this is kind of some of the stuff they expected. As we, as our first alert team has been uh, telling you, we've already received about an inch of rain here since yesterday. I want you to kind of take a look as uh, photojournalist Sean Mullen uh, gives you a look here. You can see kind of from a wide angle the Ferris wheel there off into the background. And then as we come to pan back down to the street here, that's uh, Philadelphia Avenue in Wacomico. Now, uh, Sean, if you just take a look right over here across the street in this parking lot, that's some type of trash can that was blown, and that's where it landed. Um, and, and our first alert weather team again has been talking about those wind gusts uh, that causes that coastal flooding. Now, if you don't believe us, just take a look this way. This is a um, a residence, if you will, called Emerson Towers. Uh, this is all the flooding on this street here as folks have to get in and out of the garage that is under these residences. And as we come back over, you see just kind of how massive uh, the flooding has started started to begin here near the inlet. We're about two blocks from the inlet uh, where those ocean waters were already whipping up yesterday evening. Now, just to give you an idea of how high this water is, Sean, take a look down. Uh, my foot is inside of this. It's covering my entire ankle, kind of getting up to my shin. It kind of gets worse as you go back, uh, go back towards the corner there. Uh, now, what I did do in, uh, since we last spoke with you, I walked over there to the uh, boardwalk, and uh, it wasn't really a lot of flooding. Obviously, right there on the beach, uh, it's just a lot of whipping of wind and sand and rain, and sometimes it goes sideways. Right now, we're getting a little bit of a break, uh, thankfully, uh, but but nothing really too too much over there when it comes to flooding. It's just kind of a ghost town, as you could imagine, at this hour of the morning. But again, as we mentioned to you, as daylight starts to come up, we'll be able to see more of what's going on over there. And I'm sure folks will be waking up and getting out on their own to kind of see the damage or see anything that's happening here with the flooding. As we told you, a lot of vacationers are here from out of town. We'll continue to keep you updated. We'll talk back or check back in with you in about 30 minutes. Live in Ocean City, I'm Stefan Dingle for WJZ. Thank you, Stefan. Now,